Hi, my name is Tammy. And I have a uh, warning. Yeah. What's happening with uh, camera three? Right, uh, I'm getting a warning light on my P360. Okay, Cookie, are you there? Yeah. Can we get the names, please? Okie doke. Okay, let's take attendance. Um, Nate, are you there? Yeah, hey, I'm here. How you doing? Uh, ding dong. The witch hey, contestants, how you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? All right, we're doing the solo thing. I need a name here. Oh, yeah. Are you looking for a seven-question tournament-length game or a full 21-question deal? Okay, got it. 30 seconds. If you want to buzz in, hit the letter B. B is in bubble wrap. God, I love that bubble wrap. Look, all I know is how it is Singers, really can you get a level passed. on, uh... Okay, fine. Yeah. Question well, 16. get your gloves on, because I need you to flood out that key light. 20 seconds! Hey, we got 20. All right, question comes on the screen. You think you know the answer. You buzz in. You pick one of the choices on the screen. You got that? Hey, good luck. Here we go. Lose the desktop. Okay, thank you. Go to black. Post and standby. Okay, this is for real, guys. Let's go. Jack, we've got one player behind the keyboard. Hey, what's the matter? Where are all your friends? Didn't you read the box? This is a party game. All right, whatever. It's you and me. We'll party together. Let's do it. Okay, pick a category. It's number one. This one's going to be, why are you so down in the mouth? And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Your dentist just conked out while waiting in line for his driver's license. Of the following, what's the quickest thing you can yell to let someone know of the problem? My PhD is DOA from the PTA. The GOP is paying COD to the NRA. My DDS is experiencing REM at the DMV. Or my CEO is getting R&R &R at the YMCA. My doctor of dental surgery is asleep at the Department of Motor Vehicles. So he's SOL. BFT. How about it? Hit me with the category. Next up, it's been how long? And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. According to tradition, which of the following would be the most appropriate gift to give your spouse on your first anniversary? Silk, panties, chrome, handcuffs, divorce papers, or rubber gloves? Divorce papers. The one year anniversary gift is paper, and what better way to show how much you care? All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Ooh it's question number three. The category, those wacky royals. Pop a right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Which is the best National Enquirer headline for a factually correct story about Macbeth? Secret out, Siamese twins born to royals. Prince drowns south, returns as ghost. Queen names Prince in suicide note. Or C-section baby grows up, saves Scotland. C-section baby grows up, save Scotland. And on the back page, it says they spotted Ophelia in Las Vegas. How about it? Hit me with the category. Uh-oh. West truck looks nine more. It's time for a... Tinker Lake Test Drop. This gibberish questions category is cold cuts and other parts of the male anatomy. Five grand is the opening value for this gibberish question. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. Okay, with what childhood phrase does this rhyme? Rick her sweet, swell guy meat. Go for it, type in your answer and hit return. Yes, who is it? Break your sweets, well guy meat. There you go, children, and remember, always check your guy meat for razor blades. Okay, pick a category. Question. 
Station 5. The name of this category is All the Way from A to Z. The amount on the table is three grand. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Approximately how many years has it been since one could walk across a single landmass from the current location of Arkansas to present-day Zimbabwe? 500,000, 200 million, 70 billion, or 1 trillion? Now the correct answer is... It's been 200 million years since the Earth was one big happy continent. Unfortunately, the continent split just days after the Arkansas-Zimbabwe Railroad was completed. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Gotta be quick. Get in the mix. Whoa, whoa. Let's just sit. The category behind this question is James Bondage. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Bond. James Bond. God, was that guy a stud. Which of the following is not a real Bond girl? Lada Booty, Kissy Suzuki, Holly Goodhead, or Chumi? Lada Booty. Yeah, that's a name our writers made up. How about it? Hit me with a category. Zaba Duba Dabin, question seven. Here's the category. Tarzan and creatures of the sea. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Tarzan was lord of the jungle. The lion is the king of the beast. The camel is the ship of the desert. The male of which of these animals deserves the title unicorn of the water? Hammerhead shark, bloater, sea urchin, or narwhal? The narwhal. It's an arctic whale with a twisted ivory tusk coming out of its head. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Wait a second. Huey and Deweyville? Don't they have a brother named Louisville? Louisville, Kentucky? Flying over the lines to Louisville, Kentucky. That's area code 502. Hang tight, kitties. We're going on a fiber optic field trip. Okay, just flipping through the Louisville... Kentucky phone book here and picking out a name at random and what do you say we go with Miss Myra Martin okay we are dialing uh, Martin Myra Martin uh, in Louisville Kentucky and uh, for our fiber optic field trip let's see if she's home waiting on Myra Martin hello hello is this Myra Martin Yes, it is. Myra, hi. My name is Nate, and I'm actually the host of a CD-ROM game show called You Don't Know Jack, and I just picked your number at random out of the Louisville White Pages, and uh, basically, Myra, this is probably a strange request, but we need a question for our trivia game here, and if you've got a minute, I was wondering if you think you could help us come up with a question. I'm not trying to sell, sell you anything. This is just for fun. Sure. That'd be great. Really? Yes. Boy, that was easy. Uh, that's great. Uh, Myra, wh what are you doing in Louisville? I work at a hair salon. Oh, a hair salon. Cool. Well, maybe we'll do a hair question. Do you, do you, uh, you like doing hair? I love it. You love it. All right, so you got to come up with a hair question for us. So, Myra, I'm going to put you on with our producer. Okay. And his name is Cookie, and he'll explain everything to you. All right. And Myra, be creative. I, you know, I love a hair question, but, you know, it can be on whatever you want. Oh, that's great. All right, Myra, stay on the line. Okay, we'll be back to our fiber optic field trip in just a few questions, but in the meantime, we need another category. Okay, pick a category. Yeah, man, come yeah. along to question eight. The category is Chew to Cut and Call Me in the Morning. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. Let's say that after the flames of the Great Chicago Fire were finally put out, a few citizens came upon a rather dazed-looking cow with Mrs. O'Leary's brand on its butt. If the bovine in question had muddy-colored gums, dilated pupils, and low body temperature, what might a veterinarian's diagnosis be? Hoof and mouth disease, shock, dyslexia, or rabies? Rabies? Uh, are you thinking of that Stephen King book, Mujo? And here's the right answer. Not that kind of shock. Yeah, the cow had just found out he had no barn owner's insurance. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Ooh, ooh, what's your sign? It's number nine. 
All right, let's see what we're doing here. Big hair, small brains, must be the 80s. This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. Hang on tight, cause here we go. If these 1980s bands were members of the species after which they're named, which group would have the biggest brains in proportion to the rest of their bodies? The Boomtown Rats, the Waitresses, the Stray Cats, or Adam and the Ants? In proportion to their body, ants have the biggest brain of any animal. Well, they might have big brains, but you can still squash them. How about it? Hit me with a category. Next up, hearts of gold, heads of stone. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, try to get a mental picture of Mount Rushmore. Looking at the four presidents' heads from left to right, how would you best describe the sequence? Alphabetical order, reverse alphabetical order, chronological order of presidency, or some weird order that makes no sense? It's totally weird! From left to right, it's Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and then Lincoln. And if I were Lincoln, I'd feel snubbed. Okay, we're at the end of round one, now on to round two. Now, we are one round away from the jack attack, and all the questions in this round are going to be worth more than a round one. So pay attention, and let's do it. All right, coming back to our fiber optic field trip, we've got Myra Martin on the line from Louisville, Kentucky. Myra, are you there? Yeah. All right, Myra, get yourself set. Here we go. Okay. Okay, Myra, tell us the category. The category is hair. Hair it is, and we're going to make this category worth 5000 bucks. All right, Myra, you know what to do. Take it away. Put your fingers on your buzzer. Who has more hair per square inch? Redhead, blonde, brunette, or grayhead? Myra, they picked blondes. Congratulations. Blondes is the right answer. That's because blonde hair is finer. And it's more dense. It has more hair per square inch. All right. Great hair question, Myra. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. All right. I think we already got your uh, address, so we'll send you a T-shirt or something. So you take it easy, Myra. Thanks. Thanks. That was Myra Martin of Louisville, Kentucky. All right. Let's keep going. Okay. Pick a category. This one's going to be a very Muppet Christmas. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4000 bucks. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. There's two characters from It's a Wonderful Life that have names shared by two Sesame Street regulars. What are those names? Mr. Hooper and Mr. Potter, Oscar and Clarence, Bert and Ernie, or Zuzu and Snuffy. That's it. It's yours, baby. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. The name in this category is Animal Actors and Their Mutant Offspring. And this one is not going to be easy. $6,000. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. If the Lone Ranger's horse Silver accidentally impregnated TV star dog Rin Tin Tin, what would their offspring's chemical symbol be? N A K R F E S I A G S N or A U J U S? A G is silver, S N is tin. I tell you, if you took that offspring for a walk, you need one big honkin' pooper scooper. Okay, pick a category. 14! The category, fun things to do on the international dateline. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. If you lived in a house that straddled the international dateline, which of the following things could you do within a matter of seconds? Be in two different continents at one time, travel back in time to the 18th century, be dead February 29th, but alive February 30th, or have your virginity June 2nd, but lose it June 1st. Lose your cherry on the first, but have it on the second. Here today, gone yesterday. How about it? Hit me with the category. The 
The category behind this question is Christmas in Walnut Grove. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. Hi, Ingalls buys a stove for Ma and a new saddle for Laura's horse. Unaware that Laura has sold her horse to buy a new stove for Ma. What is this an example of? Symbolism, satire, parody, or irony? Irony. And poor communication skills. Okay, pick a category. Flush your head down the latrine. Easy away with sour cream. Sixteen. The category is food and identity crises. I'll pay you four thousand dollar bills for this one if you get it right. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Who of the following is a real person? Mrs. Paul, Aunt Jemima, Chef Boyardee, or Duncan Hines? Mr. Duncan Hines. <laughs> Hey, come on, hit me. We need a category. Here's the category. Brilliant insight or just poor eyesight. It's going to be worth $4,000. Which artist might have placed the following ad? Help wanted a French painter uh, needs impressionable model. You should look good in uh, pastel and be easier to see the farther away I get. Who placed this ad? Monet, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, or Rodin? Da Vinci. Well, there's a very famous French name. In case you're curious about the correct answer, <laughs> Claude Monet, French Impressionist Painter. Okay, pick a category. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Rhythm and art rockers. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Hang on tight, because here we go. If the rock group Pink Floyd is putting out a new album titled Circadian Rhythm, this album will most likely be a what? Concept album about biological rhythms, bunch of songs about a Greek island, disc with songs exactly three minutes long, or album featuring Scandinavian percussionists. Circadian rhythms are like biological clocks. They tell you when to wake up, when to eat, and when to stop listening to bands as old as your parents. How about it? Hit me with the category. Ooh, baby, oh, the category. Pasta Fazula. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. You're pretty upset when you learn that the bowl of pasta you've been eating is actually a bowl of worms from the phylum Nematoda. Yeah, this is an understandable mistake, since these worms resemble what? Do they look like ratatori, naki, spaghetti, or fusilli? It's a spaghetti. But if those are really worms, then what the hell was in that sauce? Okay, pick a category. Ooh, uh, question number 20. This one's gonna be Big Meat and Remedial Math. You get this question right, you pocket six grand. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. To calculate the area of the top side of your Wendy's hamburger patty, what formula would you use? Diameter squared times pi, one half base times height, radius squared times pi, or length times width? Wendy's makes square burgers, so the right answer is... Length times width. Nice job, Euclid. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Jack attack time. Oh, you already got the rules down, huh? Let's not waste time. Match on this. Aliens and where they go for Thanksgiving. You just keep that in mind. You ready? We're starting.
guy's gone. I think you found your niche. Not the worthless trivia is going to help you find a decent job or anything, but who knows? But I'll tell you what I do know. You don't know Jack. Hey, great show, everyone. Really, really great work. Sure to Cookie, the exciting part two conclusion of what's the plan? Baby. Uh, baby uh long listen, long excuse me. Uh, uh, whenever you feel like playing again, you just gotta let me know, all right? There's a large creature eating me biscuit. Wow, kid, your breakfast tastes like gravel. I would fancy something tasty. Hey, try some of these. Scrumptious nummies with meaty bits. It's me new British Choco Puffies with real nuggets of blood sausage. Still turns the milk pink and tarty, and moms love it because it's got fluoride. So me teeth don't fall out. That's right, Snaggletooth. I fancy you, Chucky. Get some sun, Ringo. Hey, I'm off to France. It's the new Major Dick action figure. You choose the assignment, Major Dick does the dirty work. Pretend Major Dick is on a peacekeeping mission in a third world nation. Major Dick, there's trouble over there. Looters! I'll have to list. Drop that loaf of bread, punk! I'm so very hungry. Too late, slime ball. Thanks, Major Dick. Not take care of that woman. She's getting away with that pail of milk. Sorry, dirtbag. Show me your receipt next time. Major Dick action figure. Uzi sold separately. If your dolly's got a pain that hurts her little back Could be something that she ate or just a mild heart attack Better safe than sorry, just open up her chest Make sure she won't go into a cardiac arrest Kitko's got a toy that'll make her heart start beating Little plastic paddles and band-aids to stop the bleeding. Fun. The paddles on her chest. Count to three and zap the way. Clear. And watch your Kitco defibrillator bring her back to life today. The Kitco defibrillator. Because cardiopulmonary resuscitation can be fun. Right, my name's Rex, and I'm waiting for you to telephone me. Will you be my raster? Whoopsie, I go broopy on the carpet. <laughs> I've been a bad roggy, and I need a Frankie. Yike, yike, Maybe yike. later, you can rub my rummy. <laughs> I rub it when you rub my rummy. My right goes crazy. <laughs> I'm waiting for your crawl. Maybe later, you can give me a bone. Yike. Call 976-DOG today and spend some quality time with man's best friend. <laughs>